problem with the regulation that we have right now is that you can't do anything. You can't. You can, I, have, I have people that tell me they have more people working on regulations than they have doing product, and it's out of control. It's gotten out of control. Uh, I'm a very a big person when it comes to the environment. I've received awards on the envir environment, but uh, some of that stuff makes it impossible to get anything built. Uh, it takes years and years. Uh, I, you know, you can look at some examples. I read one recently where a man's been trying to build a factory for many, many years, and his vote was going to be fairly soon, and he gave up because he wasn't going to win the vote. Spent millions and millions of dollars, ru actually ruined his life. And we can't have that. So when somebody wants to put up a factory, it's going to be expedited. And you have to go through the process, but it's going to be expedited. And we're going to take care of the environment. We're going to take care of safety and all of the other things we have to take care of. But you're going to get such great service. There will be no country that's going to be faster, better, more fair, and at the same time, protecting the people of the country, whether it's safety or uh, so many other reasons where regulations are good. We think we can cut regulations by 75 percent, maybe more, but by 75 percent. Have, in a certain way, better protections. But when you want to expand your plant, or when Mark wants to come in and build a big, massive plant, or when Dell wants to come in and do something monstrous and special. Uh, you're going to have your approvals really fast. Thank okay. you, sir. And, and the one thing that surprised me, and then I want to hear what you have to say, but the one thing that surprised me in going around and meeting with a lot of the people at this table and meeting with a lot of the small business owners, if I gave them a choice of this massive tax decrease that we're giving for business, for everybody but for business, or the cutting down of regulation. If I took a vote, I think I, the regulation wins 100 percent. Now, in one case, it's hard dollars, and in the other case, it's regulation. You would think that the regulations would have no chance. It's, it's, I've never seen anything like it. Virtually everybody is happier with regulation than even cutting the taxes. So the regulations are going to be cut massively, and the taxes are going to be cut way down. So you're going to have now incentive incentive to build. The one thing I do have to warn you about, when you have a company here, you have a plant here, it's going to be in Indiana, or it's in Ohio, or it's in Michigan, or it's in North Carolina, or Pennsylvania, anywhere in this country. When it decides, when you decide, if you decide to close it, and you no longer will have a real reason because your taxes are going to be lower. And by the way, if you go to another state, that's it. That's great. If you can go from Ohio to Indiana or from Indiana to Ohio, that's fine. So you have 50 great, wonderful governors to negotiate with. So it's not like we're taking away competition. But if you go to another country and you decide that you're going to close and get rid of 2,000 people or 5,000 people, um, I tell you, United Technologies was a, an example with Carrier, and I got involved you know, two years after they announced. So, in all fairness, uh, that was tough. But uh, United Technologies was terrific, and they brought back many of those jobs. But if that happens, we are going to be imposing a very major border tax on the product when it comes in, which I think is fair, which is fair. So, a company that wants to fire all of its people in the United States and build some factory someplace else, and then thinks that that product is going to just flow across the border into the United States, that's not going to happen. They're going to have a tax to pay, a border tax, a substantial border tax. Now, uh, some people would say uh, that's not free trade, but we don't have free trade now, because we're the only one that makes it easy to come into the country. If you look at China, if you look at many other countries, I don't have to name them, but many other countries, they can't believe what we do. So we take in things free, and yet, if you want to take a plant or you want to do something, you want to sell something into China and other countries, it's very, very hard. And in some cases, it's impossible. They won't even take your product. But when they do take your product, they charge a lot of tax. So I don't call that free trade. What we want is fair trade. Fair trade. And we're going to treat countries fairly, 
but they have to treat us fairly. And if they're going to charge tax to our countries, if, as an example, we sell a car into Japan and they do things to us that make it impossible to sell cars in Japan, and yet they sell cars into us and they come in like by the hundreds of thousands on the biggest ships I've ever seen, we have to all talk about that. It's not fair. It's not fair. Never was. I just can't believe it took so long for somebody to come along.